Tabitha Marsden, and this is Indieville TV, and I'm here with We Are the Finale. Hey, guys. Hey, how's it There's going? There's quite a few of you. Yeah, yeah, we're a what's, big fan. What's the deal with that? Uh, well, I'll, uh, we'll just go down the line here. I'm Daniel. I'm the singer, and uh, I'm Bradley. I play keys and I also sing. Uh, I'm JD. I play guitar. I'm Freddie. I play bass. <laughs> I'm Matt. I also play guitar. And I'm Ronnie. I play drums. So I'm assuming you all came from different bands? Yes. 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 Yeah, we did. When did you all get together? Uh, we got together uh, about a year and a half ago. Um, I was, I was uh, running a writer's night at McFadden's on 2nd Avenue. And uh, JD was actually the bartender, and Bradley was one of the writers. And we just kind of, uh, JD was in a band called The Compromise at the time. And uh, I've been in a band called Daybreak Drive, and then we kind of put it together. I've been talking to Matt about doing a band, so he jumped on. Me and Freddie have been playing in a band together for a while, and uh, we had our, our original drummer. His name was uh, Matt Naff, and he decided to leave for some family things, and we saw Ronnie play, and we were like, we got to have him. He's, he's insane. He's like animal from the Muppets, you know? So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. so everyone was like, I want to be a part of it. I yeah, yeah, it was fun. It was I fun. love it. That's great. Okay, so you guys are releasing your first single. Yeah. Okay, what's that called? Uh, the single's called Game of Three. Uh, it's pretty much a story about two friends, and they find out that they're dating the same girl. And oh, shit. And then uh, the drama unfolds, you know. So. <laughs> that, was it any of you that found out? Ah, uh, we're going we're gonna to plead the fifth on that. <laughs> <laughs> no heartbreak here. Yeah. Um, so then, the cool thing is when you are you're releasing a series of visionettes. Yeah, yeah. That tell us about that. Uh, well, I think I mean it's just really important now that you kind of put the face and not just the like the face of the band, but just the vibe of who we are. Like I think it's important to go with the music. You know, if you if you hear a band that has been put together, you know, in a studio, the songs might be cool, but when you see them live, you can kind of tell. You know, we want to, like, make people feel like they're a part of the band, you know, so that's kind of why we're putting the vignettes out and kind of giving everybody a little behind-the-scenes things, you know. What is the story behind the vignettes? Like, um, this is, like, a concept I haven't seen before. They're putting out a series of three to go along with their EP release. Right. So what, how did you guys even come up with that? It's cool. It's like a, it's like a short film, like, split into three. Well, it's... Um the basic concept is it's going to be a full-length album we're releasing, but it's going to be released in a gradual sense. Three EPs will come up with one long play, LP. And essentially, um, it's three acts of a magic show. Um, it's, and that's what the actual record's called. It's called The Magic Show. And um, they'll be released in Act 1, 2, and 3. Sort of the, uh, the pledge, the, uh, what is turn. It? The, the turn, the and the prestige. Sort of, you know, like that movie. But... Um, it's kind of it's meant to again be this gradual release. It's going to keep people fresh. It's going to keep people wanting to listen. And when they end up listening, they're going to really want to be involved. And by the time the third one ends up coming out, you'll have the you know the, the videos involved with it. You'll have this connection now with a band of six dudes with yeah. completely different brains, you know, yeah. that, that are now creating something with you. you yeah, know? So, it's kind of like a story arc. Exactly. Right. That's awesome. Well, cool. Do you guys want to introduce your uh, trailer? Yeah, we're actually doing a documentary for the full record, and uh, we're going to roll the, uh, the clip for the trailer for the uh, documentary. So check it out. I met JD at this crazy, this crazy event out in Pasadena, and we were out there. I had just gotten off of uh, this tour with my 80s, uh, my Molly Crew tribute band, and uh, JD, he was playing in a polka band. So we decided to kick out the singer. And then the guitarist kicked out the bassist. And then I ended up kicking out the guitarist. So, uh, you know, I was the only one left in the band. And I was like, dude, well, let's, uh, let's put a band together here because, you know, the Molly Crew band, it was just not working out. You know, I was getting tired of the makeup stains and the hairspray smell. It just let it be known here. I started the band. This is, uh, this is all me. Um, you know, Daniel tries to act like he's running things. Yeah, he's kind of he's kind of running things. When we found Matt, his real name is Copernicus. Okay, so we changed his name to Matt because when we found this guy, he, I mean, he had the hay out of his mouth, like no shirt on, overalls. Like, I mean, I found him wrestling a pig. Details of my life around that time were a little fuzzy. 
I'm eating my cereal that morning. I'm like trying to scrape the last little dust out of the Lucky Charms, and out rolls Bradley onto my on, on onto the table, just right out of the Lucky Charms box. So you know we had the natural leprechaun thing there, so I was like, of course he plays piano. So I'm just gonna follow this guy because there's a pot of gold somewhere. Fred, we don't really know where exactly he came from. We know it's not this planet. Out of nowhere, out of like straight from the sky, uh, you know, Fred just got here and has this form. I I I mean he's. He's from outer space. He's he's an alien of some kind. Uh, something about the rings of Venus, I, I don't know. But I guess he feels like playing bass in a band is the thing for him to do. Um, until they call him on to the next step. We're all actually kind of worried about that. After that, you know, we just started meeting some other people. We got uh, Ronnie to join the band. Well, uh... Man, I don't even know. I don't even know how I got here. <laughs> I don't really know where Ronnie came from either. Who's Ronnie? Anyway, so the last piece was, was Ronnie, and we just, we just found Ronnie on the side of the road. I've come to this conclusion that, uh, that Matt and Freddie have uh, joined an alliance against Earth. And they're trying to take over and probe us all. That was, that was about it, and uh, now here we are, you know? We're, uh, we're making this record, and um, I'm really thinking it's gonna shake the entire, like, old school, polka, 80s country vibe. I mean, that's really what we're shooting for this record, so I hope to, hope to you guys do. Thank you guys for joining us. Thanks for having us. Awesome Thank ideas. You. We can't wait to see the uh, production. That's awesome. 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 Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, I'm Tabitha. Hey there, I'm Lizzie, and we host a local television show in the Nashville area called Indieville TV. We showcase the best in indie rock, alternative music, videos, and interviews. Pretty much everything indie. And with your help, we're looking to grow onto other channels and cities. Guys, there's a lot of you. We need bigger time slots. A lot bigger. <laughs> so with your pledges, you can make this dream of ours definitely a reality. In return for your pledges, we'll provide you with t-shirts with our logo, signed posters from Lizzie and I, among other cool things. So from both of us to you, thank you and tune in Fridays, 1230 a.m. on Channel 5 Plus. Hi, 
Hi, thanks for tuning in to Indieville TV. My name is Lizzie Meller. I am here with the band called The Goon. That's G-O-O-N. How are you guys doing? Pretty good. How's it going? <laughs> Fantastic. Doing great. I understand you have a tattoo that expresses the goon. Would you <laughs> like do. to show that real quick? I do. Absolutely. I'll hold this. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize it was going to be one of those kind of videos. I didn't see a tarp down. <laughs> oh, there you have it. Well, there it All is. Right. Okay, tell us the inspiration behind the goon coming up with that name. Uh, well, we actually just recently um, came up with um, was it an acronym, right? Acronym. Uh, um, guilty of our nature. So um, it's goon. Basically, it's um, you know just somebody that's kind of out there a little aggressive a little abrasive person um but then again that's our music it's a little aggressive rock and roll you know so all right good deal know. i understand you guys were nominated for best song of the year for the music city awards tell us about that um we were uh well just writing being creative and <laughs> trying to play around and the uh music city mayhem actually was just it was like linked up on our Facebook. We, they're just like, "Hey, you have a you have a really great song, and we'd like to, you know, kind of show you guys that give you a little recognition." Well, oh well, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Had no idea. Oh, well, that's thanks, neat. you guys. You guys love us, Nashville. That's all it takes. A little publicity, <laughs> a little marketing. Okay, and have y'all been in the recording studio recording new songs? Or I understand that y'all have a new single that y'all just released. Uh, Tell us about yes, that. actually, we haven't. Um, completely released it yeah we've been just sharing it with people like you know uh promoters and stuff and so we we still got to mix and master it um but uh it's getting a little bit on the uh heavy heavier side of of metal and uh, uh aggressive rock and whatnot but um we're, we're really looking forward to it because i feel like that's where our roots and then um we're going to come back circle back here in about a year to um another like you know a little bit more um mainstream singles and whatnot but uh, that's uh actually we'll we'll talk about later our music videos so it's really mainstream and um pop rock and whatnot so all right and you guys are both from nashville tennessee is that correct yes that's correct born and raised here well we're tennessee boys but we've been dreaming of w living in nashville since we were young it's music city there's no other city in the world yeah. called music city it's nashville awesome and y'all do songwriting and all that good stuff on all your yeah. music. We let the creativity flow. <laughs> Who's your main musical influence? I want to say um, either uh, Thrice, Deftones, you know, the Deftones. Oh, yeah. oh definitely the Deftones. Um, oh, we grew up on them. Um, even some pop punk like, you know, Blink-182. Oh. And... Um, I love them. <laughs> oh, they're fun. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah, it was fun to listen to. That's why, you know, like you didn't listen to it and feel heavy. You listened to it, you directly related, and it was fun. Mm -hmm. All right. Can you please introduce your video for us? Oh, right on. Um, uh, this is our music video for Do To Me, and we're goon. <laughs> Next song is called Do To Me. Fuck. Time keeps passing by. And I keep asking why Why are you more beautiful than yesterday? Oh why? Why am I so crazy? Crazy about you My favorite thing to do is make you smile I have not forgotten everything I've promised I will love you always Baby, I'm being honest Good 
we dance underneath the stars Remember the night we had when we lost it all
And we're back with The Goon. Can you guys give us your contact information for people to check you guys out? Yes, we're at uh, facebook.com slash goon official. All right. Thank you so much for coming out. It's Thank been a you. pleasure. Thank nice you meeting you. Thank you very much. Good to meet you. Thanks. Best of luck to you. Thanks. Appreciate it. See?